The Radical Firearms AR-15 556-223. Is it really a budget rifle or is it worth buying? Stick around, we'll find out. All right, before the intro, like I said, we're going to be talking about the Radical Firearms uh, RPR, AR-15, 5.56, and 223. Um, before we get started, though, I first want to say thanks to everyone who got me to 1,000 subscribers. Actually, we're beyond that now. Um, it really means a lot. So if you're new to the channel, please give me a like, subscribe. Uh, if you're new, I know only about 98% of... The viewers uh, do not subscribe. So it just takes a quick click of your, of your finger to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, you'll see all of our new videos coming out. All right, so you see on the table I have, I have three rifles here. Um, so in the middle is uh, my Radical Firearms um, RPR uh, 556. On this side, I have my uh, Diamondback, uh, Diamondback 556 and um, over here on this side I have my um, let me get this off of here my um, Radical Firearms this is my 762 by 39 okay apologize if you guys hear a dog barking all right so what is this rifle for a lot of people this is a budget rifle. But I'm gonna tell you right now, from the time that we've had it, this is actually my daughter's uh, three gun rifle. From the time we've had this rifle, it has been absolutely flawless. It has been amazing. So, um, let's talk a little bit about it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna read some specs here. Um, I, I don't remember everything, so you know I'm gonna have to kind of go to my, my chart over here. But it is um, the 16-inch barrel, um, the 4140 chromoly um, vanadium barrel. It's melanite finish, and it's the SOCOM profile. It is um, it is threaded, half by 28, and it's a 17 twist. Okay, uh, it has the M4 feed ramps. Mid-length gas system. When you get the rifle, pretty much everything is um, mil-spec. Mil-spec charging handle, mil-spec um, buffer tube, spring, buffer. Um, the bolt carrier group is all mil-spec. But it doesn't make it, a again, a budget rifle by any means. And we'll talk about some of the things that I've done to the rifle. Um, this particular uh, version, the RPR, comes with a minimalist stock. This is um, Mission First Tactical. It's a good stock. It's a good grip. So uh, if it comes with it, you don't want to change it on the Radical Firearms, go ahead and keep the, uh, the Mission First furniture on there. You'll be good to go, especially if you like minimalist stock. So. Uh, starting from the back, we'll kind of go forward here. So this is um, adjustable uh, buttstock, and uh, it's solid. It does not move. It is very, very, very solid. It, I, I can't. Uh, my my daughter loves this this um, stock, and she does not want me to change it. <laughs> um, moving forward, the the grip is um, mission first. Now I will tell you right now, it's textured. It's got a, it's got a, you know, it doesn't have your A2 slant. It's got more of an upright. It's textured, but it's very smooth texture. Uh, if we look over here on the um, the 762 that I have, this is the um, B5 systems that they also have, and I'll tell you right now, I couldn't be happy with the B5 systems. The uh, the stock, um, adjustable, it wiggles a little bit, but it's so, so, so comfortable. 
but the grip, the texture on this grip is fantastic. So um, I wish I could get my daughter to uh, agree to let me go ahead and swap that out, but she won't. <laughs> uh, moving forward on the rifle, um, it does come with a mil spec charging handle, mil spec um, selector switch, but we have swapped this out for an ambidextrous um, Radiant Raptor. And so very happy with that. And we have also switched it out for the Radeon Raptor or the Radeon Talon selector switch. Uh, it's a 45 degree throw on the, um, let me see if I can show you here on this camera. On the thumb side, uh, it's a longer handle. And on the other side, it's a lot shorter, so it doesn't dig into the hand, it doesn't even touch it. So very happy with the Talon uh, selector switch. Moving forward, um, you can't really see it on this side, but you can see we have the um, bad lever on it. I'll show you over here. There's your, your bad lever right there. So um, that's your bolt release and bolt catch. So it makes the rifle completely um, ambidextrous. I also have the bad lever on my uh, Diamondback. And um, I also have the Radeon stuff on there as well. So you can see that a few things definitely moves this up to a, a, a different category of rifle. Uh, the scope, so the scope um, is an LPVO and it is a one by six from Tacticon Armament. My daughter loves this uh, LPVO. Now you'll see on all three of these rifles here, I have anywhere from a Vortex one by eight to a Cabela's one by four. And um, now you'll see the turrets, they're a little bit tall, but my, my daughter likes those, so we keep those on there. The Tacticon 1x6, $400 scope, second focal plane, um, very, very, very happy with this, with this scope. My daughter really likes it. So if you're looking for a good uh, uh, low-end scope, go ahead and check out Tacticon Armament. Now, um, this, uh, it's nitrogen purged. So um, it, it should be fog free, shock resistant. It's got your windage elevation adjustments. It is um, illuminated. Now I, I will be honest with you. I wish the illumination was a little bit brighter. Not, not stellar, but um, it, it's not terrible. The trigger that we have in here is just the mil spec trigger. Um, Here's my daughter, my daughter shooting with this trigger. She really likes it. And um, yeah, so she doesn't want me to swap out the trigger. She likes it. The um, guardrail, handrail, is a thin profile. So it's very easy to get up and get your hand wrapped around that. Uh, you'll see we also have a Magpul angled foregrip that um, we really like. Now, I'm, I don't have it extended here, but um, as, you, as you're in there, it's got a really, really, really solid, um, you know, grip with that uh, angled foregrip and that thin rail. It's very, very, very happy with, with that rail on there. Um, I have the same kind of rail on the um, 7.62 by 39, and even my Diamondback um, has a thin rail on it. So, very happy with this. Like I said earlier, mid-length gas system. Uh, moving forward, it does have the, uh, M the uh, A2 flash hider and compensator. I I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think this is one of the, the most well-rounded um, compensator flash hiders out there. You can see that it's got the, the top openings for the gas escape and the bottom of it you can see is closed. So it allows for that compensation for the, the muzzle rise. Um, my Diamondback, it's, it, it's got a muzzle device on it, but you can see that it's open all the way around. And so it, I'd be honest with you, it doesn't allow the compensation that this A2 flash hider does. 
Now, one thing about the, the rail, I wish it did come with um, a quick disconnect, but it doesn't. So if you're gonna add one, you're gonna wanna go ahead and add uh, an M-lock. The rail is M-lock all the way around, except for the top. But you'll notice the top is full Picatinny. So you have a lot of room to add a lot of um, accessories if you want. What else do we have on this? So we have the Magpul uh, bipod. Very solid, very solid bipod. Um, it's adjustable to uh, several heights and very quickly um, closes up. The nut on the bottom, so you can adjust it and, or keep it a little bit loose so you have room to flex or you can tighten it down so that it doesn't move. Um, pops down super, super easy. Also on this rifle, we have um, iron sights. We chose iron sights, and if you notice, I run them on my, uh, my 7.62x39. I run them on my uh, radical firearm or my diamondback. And we run them on my daughter's um, 5.56. Five, we chose uh, iron sights because they don't fail. They work. So if it's uh, up close engagement, we can just rock the iron sights. And then if this were to fail, break, whatever, I've still got the ability to shoot my rifle. So, and these are, um, these are fantastic. And I don't know if you can see or not, they're, they're fiber optic, which is pretty awesome. So we chose, like I said, the, uh, the iron sights as our backup because that's what, uh, we wanted to make sure we had that, um, that backup should the optic fail. So the Radical Firearms 5.56 five, budget rifle, that is not budget. Don't be afraid to get out there and give Radical Firearms a try. I think we picked this one up for 419. They can be found right around 399 they go on sale all the time right now i think they're listed around the 500 mark but they go on sale all the time so don't be afraid to give radical firearms a try you can see i have two of their rifles and i could not be happier you'll see uh, uh, a link here for my um 762 i39 review and a link to my 762 i39 as well, or I'm sorry, wow, I'm just all one brain today. My Diamondback um, DB15. So uh, I hope you like this, uh, this video. I hope it helps you make a decision whether you wanna own a um, Radical Firearms rifle. Give them a shot. They, this has been fantastic. We have countless rounds through these rifles and uh, it, like I said, it hasn't skipped a beat. It, it will shoot anything we put in it, and it's just been fantastic. You know, a few little upgrades here and there to kind of just make it the way you want it. But if you want to run mil spec, it, it will it will absolutely suit your needs. So, thanks for watching. Please give me a like. Please give me a subscribe. Uh, give me a share so we can keep growing this channel. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.